Oh my god, hey! Hello! Hi. I am Mickey Joe Theatre. I am Erin James. I am Ellie, Talking Theatre. There we go, and today <laughs> we're in London <laughs> doing an underground theatre challenge. We're going to ride around on the underground for an hour and see how many theatre themed posters we can spot. So the challenge is, we all start here, we're all going to pick out a line and then we have to start on that route and then find our way back here at the end of the hour we can go any way we want as long as we start on that one line. Yeah, we have to meet back here. It's almost 1 p.m. We have to meet back here by 2 p.m. or you will be docked points for being late. So the point system for this is one point for every poster that we see, but we get extra points for if we see posters that are not meant to be on the tube anymore or um, any, so any past shows, any, sh any posters that have been supposedly banned from the, t from the tube line. <gasps> And also, sizing. So, small posters worth one point. Medium-sized posters worth three points. Extra-large or special posters, they are worth five points. And a massive poster, huge, uh, which we'll huge. do on a case-by-case -case basis. Huge, huge. <laughs> that will be worth 10 points. And it's also a case of once we have seen a show poster, that's it. Once. You can only get that once, unless... Although we won't see oh, once, because that's no. been closed for a very long time. If you do see once, that'll be amazing. <laughs> but if you see the same poster again, but it's a larger version, we upgrade to the higher pointage and cancel out the original point. Also, safety first, there will be no running. No. Uh, but otherwise, you can do whatever you want. Yeah. We probably won't run into each other, maybe we will. Who knows? We will that see That would be happens. the gag of the season. Oh. Oh. So we're going to be trying different fit challenges and see how it goes. Yeah, comment below what you want us to do next. But yeah. for now, we're about to head underground. First, we need to do a three-person rock, paper, scissors to decide who gets first pick of the line they're going to depart on. Rock, paper, scissors. I win! Okay. Yay! <laughs> and these two are going to play for second place. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, rock, paper, scissors. Oh, rock, paper, scissors. Oh, oh. Talk theater, second choice. place. So we're at Tottenham Court Road right now by the Dominion Theatre, by At Soho Place. Uh, and the three options from here are the Central Line, the Northern Line, and the Elizabeth Line. I have first pick, so I'm going to take the Northern Line. Ooh. Ellie, you have second choice. Oh, this is hard. Ooh. Okay. I'm going to go left field. I'm taking Lizzie. Okay. Oh, I'm okay. taking Lizzie. Not yeah. as many posters on the Elizabeth line. Oh, but just you wait. I have I have plans. She got plans. I've made plans, and this is part of those plans. Which leaves Aaron with his favourite, the central, central line. line. I used to live on the central line, so I know this this path very well. Also, it turned one o'clock nineteen seconds ago. Ah, so we're gonna go. go. Let's go. Ah. <laughs> okay. I just tapped in to the northern line, and there is a massive group that has just come on with me. It's all already stressful. So many problems on the on the northern line, but do you know what's clear? Lizzie. And I'm through and on the central line, so we're currently heading down. Annoyingly, this is the updated version, which means that there are no posters, which means I've lost a lot of points, because normally they'd be there. So I would be like having a full storm down there. So boo for updated posters. You may be thinking, Ellie, Lizzie line? Really? This seems like so out of left field. And you know what? I just wanted the air conditioning. But the thing is, you can switch lines. You can switch lines. It's fine. So, you know, I get the lovely, beautiful, stunning air conditioning. But also, if you come down, if you've ever been at Tottenham Court Road, on the Lizzie line, you will know there are so many massive theatre posters. So I'm already going to stack up like a whole bunch of points really quickly. Poster number one, before I even get to a train, Magic Mike. There you go. And it's a tall poster, so that's worth three points. See? See, I'm a genius. I am a genius, and I want my genius to be appreciated sometimes. Bam. I do kind of want to stand by this one a little bit longer. No reason. Anyway. <laughs> Customer information from Tottenham Court Road. The Lizard Line has no service between Addingbury and Whitechapel due to a faulty freight train at Carson House. Oh no. The Lizard Line has no service between Addingbury and Whitechapel. Oh, I can see the mid-first poster. Which is, this is Barry Pies, look at all the stars. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I just missed uh, a train. There's another one in two minutes going to Battersea Power Station. I'm going southbound because there's something I want at Waterloo. But I'm going to have to wait here, which is not a good start. And none of these are show posters, which doesn't help me. There's good service running on the central line and northern line, and a good service on all of it. Yay! Free! Massive My Neighbor Totoro one. Massive Imagine My Life one. Yes! Okay, while I was waiting, check the other platform. Back to the future! Another three points! Tall poster! Yeah! 1.21 gigawatts! Look, I bet right now, Mickey has already got like a five step plan on what he's going to do. Okay, five minutes down, I'm on my first train heading southbound from Tottenham Court Road. I know I want to go down to Waterloo. I might stop off on the way at some other stations. I don't know, I don't know. I haven't got a game plan yet. I am an agent of chaos. I do what I want when I want. And what I want to do right now is go on an air conditioned tube line. Central only is one of the busiest lines, which means that most of the posts are here, so there's the Lion King, the Punch of My Life doesn't count. Back to the future. And that's the exhibition. But yay! So many already done. Yes, so we didn't have the we didn't have the fun escalator, but what we did have was tons through that walkway. So result. So now let's get the tube. Or let's see if there's any other platform, then let's get the tube. So, haven't gone very far. One stop I have gone from Tonka Road to Farringdon. Do you know what Farringdon? Circle line. So that's my plan. Does this count? It's a concert, I think. We've just pulled into Leicester Square and predictably lots of show posters here on the platform. Lots of big ones because this is like the heart of theatre land. Um, I'm going to try and come back through here on the way back up. I think I'll make this my last stop before Tottenham Court Road, maybe. I've made the choice now. The doors have closed. I hope I don't regret this. I see a new one. A great one. A show I haven't seen yet. And I need to. Usher, Usher. Major Moulin Rouge one. Yes, I'm achieving. Not arriving yet, but yay, big Moulin Rouge one. Yay. So this is the only annoying thing about Lizzie. These aren't musicals. It's, it's Dear England. This counts, right? <laughs> There's a bigger Imagine Mike one. Yes. And that upgrades it. And a bigger Choir of Mammal. So good. Central Line is great for this. Like, look how big. Massive. I've never been to Farringdon. I didn't realise there were so many steps. I'm knackered. I definitely feel like I'm taking a risk here because we're passing, I've just seen a big strange loop poster and a Hamilton one and I'm hoping I see these at some other point on my journey because I don't think I'll come back to a nightmare. Now annoyingly, the downside of Lizzie Line is that you have to walk from one underground to another. There's a tube. There's a tube. Make a phantom one. Wait, this one's massive. Okay, so did I just miss the train I was meant to get on? Yes, yes I did. But do you know what? It's fine. Because I didn't want to get that one anyway. I wanted to get 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 that one. Yeah. Waterloo, and this one here behind me, massive National Theatre poster, big Phantom of the Opera poster behind me here as well. Not sure how many points those are going to be, but doing well. Back through to the platform I came in on. I saw some over here. So, once again, I've only got one stop over. One stop. Crazy for you. This is this is 
the effect, another National Theatre play, that'll be worth five points. This is a three-pointer, As You Like It, at Shakespeare's Globe. This video is a great advertisement for the shows currently running in London. I'm heading to the Jubilee line. Um, specifically, I want the bit where you go from the Northern Line to the Jubilee line, because there's a big Hamilton tunnel. Aaron knows about it. I don't know if Ellie does. This is another magic mic, but we got that already. This is Hamilton. I will tick it off, but hopefully I'm gonna overwrite that with a higher scoring Hamilton poster. We will, we will see. Pray for Mickey Joe. Up we go to the Jubilee line. So one of the hard parts for the Jubilee is that a lot of the same shows will pay a lot of money to get the same kind of mark advertising. So like we've got Milan Rouge and Cabaret again. So I'm getting a lot of repeats, but I spotted there it is. Frozen. So I come to Oxford Circus from Tottenham Court Road by the Central Line because this is right in the middle of Theatre Town, of uh, Theatre Land. So a lot of shows will be advertising here to get people when they come off the tube to go for those shows. Um, so yeah, so now I'm gonna have a look around at Oxford Circus and my plan is not to go to that many stations but to stay in the theatre district and try and visit as many as I can. So, for instance, I think I found a bigger Back to the Future and an Abba Voyage. So let's get them. Ah, no, the tube's coming in. The big ones are hidden behind the tube. That's a nightmare. It's not fun. But another Lion King, but I don't think it's any bigger. This is where I get my heavy hitters now. This is where I get the points. I've got my, I've got the foundation. It's like a cake. You know, this ch this challenge is like a cake. You've got to get your foundations, and then you can build it up. Then you get the layers and the and you decorate it. Matilda, let's see what I can get here. Back to the Future, Lion King, Frozen. I've got other voyage. I was standing on the wrong side. I got we're all friends. Uh, witness. <laughs> I am distracted by the challenge. Wicked. Crown Jewels, I'm seeing that tonight. Spitting image. That. <laughs> see, see, this was a great plan. This was a fantastic plan. Did you ever doubt me? No, you didn't. No, you did not. Here we go. That's the future and the voyage. Big posters. Yay. Now let's go and explore Oxford Circus. There's quite a few here. There should be. I'm just going to do a really long walk. I've just seen some small ones we're going to tick off. Abba Voyage, one point. Matilda, one point, matches my t-shirt. Over here, Wicked, one point. Lion King, one point. Mrs. Doubtfire, one point. We're doing well. I was about to go up an escalator and then down again to get the ones on the sides of the escalator, but that escalator is screams with ads uh, that aren't for the theater. So not gonna do that. Instead, back to our tunnel for the Jubilee line. Patriots. <laughs> So, I'm now just traveling up and down escalators to see if I can get like a lot of points. I just want to get like a foundation of points. So I'm just aiming the camera this way, not even paying much attention. Will I win? Yes, because I'm the best. Okay, I'm on a moving walkway, so stay with me. We have massive Les Mis poster, huge. Oh, bigger Phantom poster, huge. Bigger Hamilton poster here. There you go. This was a great choice. Massive old friends. The other side of this tunnel is all Hamilton. There you go. Another Hamilton. I can't remember if there's another bit. Miles trap, that's me. What line am I even on? If, if it isn't clear, I am winging this 100%. <laughs> I have no plan. This station is very warm. It's always very busy. Another big choir's view and a big choir of man, but we already have them. Bleak expectations taken off a show that has already closed. Yay. As you like it at the Globe. Cabaret. Greece. Yay. Groundhog Day. Hello, Dadfire. Bigger Hamilton one. As you like it, she's this one. A different lion in one. So essentially what I've done is I've gone to Kings Cross, I've gone down 
escalators. I have walked all up and down the Victoria Line, but I have not gotten a Victoria Line train. Although I could go to Euston. Heading east to London Bridge next, because I know I want to travel um, eventually. I want to make my way up north. I don't know which one specifically. Maybe Angel? I think Angel has the really long escalator with a load of posters and some of the shows that might only be advertising around there, like stuff at the Almeida. Um, so that's the plan. All right, here we go. Here's where I'm like planning. I'm, I'm thinking things through because everyone else has plans. I don't, I don't, I wing it. Just like my winged eyeliner, I wing it. I'm going to use them, why not? <laughs> As I said, a lot. There's a lot of these pathways which have loads of shows on. The Burn City, Punch Drunk. Seriously, going well. Um, I think this is repeats. Yeah, this is all repeats now. So we're going up to our next platform. Yay! It is warm today. It is very warm on the Jubilee Line. I am not jealous of Aaron on the Central Line because normally that's worse. Okay, one stop yet again. Because you don't want to waste too much time on these trains. You don't want to waste too much time. One stop over at Euston now. Okay, I was going to get off at Bridge and then take the other Northern Line up, um, but I think it might be faster if I go to Canary Wharf and then Elizabeth Line to Farringdon and then go from there. I wasn't planning on staying on tubes for this long when we started this challenge, but that's what's happened. Big sapphire. So I think that upgrade on the last one. And Okay, what's my plan? Don't have one. Because having plans, it's overrated. Shrek the Musical, which is a touring venue. And Mamma Mia. Show. Literally jumping off of this tube to get God of Carnage at the Lyric Hammersmith and then back on the same train. Okay. One more stop. Okay. Ha -ha. It is roughly half past one, which means I've been going at this for 30 minutes now. And you know what? I reckon everyone else is probably doing much better than me because they probably planned things out. Maybe the chaos route was not the route to go. I may have made a huge mistake. Elizabeth Line change from Jubilee at Canary Wharf is way further than I thought. It's in a different building. I'm actually going to be going outside, which is not something I thought was going to happen within the next hour of my life. I don't know how smart the others are being. I feel like I've traveled way too far out. The Elizabeth line is fast, so that will get me back to where I need to be really quick. But it's uh, Jenny time right now that I don't need. Oh, I could get donuts. I shan't. Big famous poster. Big famous poster. Unlimited posters. <laughs> And over here, perfectly timed. Oh, Bird City. That's another point. Cheers, the boys. And there you go. One of the rules that we agreed was that only underground posters count. So even if I see a poster right now, I can't include it in my total. It's hard to imagine this isn't going to cost me a lot of points and maybe the game. Ah, uh, have I made a huge blunder? I knew this as well. I knew that the Elizabeth line here and the Jubilee were in different buildings. Foolish. Foolish me. Ed Sheeran, you're not shy. Terrible to you. This is closed. I got a closed show. This is closed. I mean, it's on tour. You can still go see it. Very good. I recommend it. But this is closed officially. He's not in it anymore. 
then she's not in it anymore, it's closed. Bonus points, let's go. It gets worse, somehow it gets worse. I'm walking towards the Elizabeth Line entrance. I'm not running, but I can see this entrance is closed. Let it just be the entrance that's closed and not the whole line. Have I knackered it? Have I knackered it completely? Is there a park closure on the Elizabeth Line? Oh, I think there is. <gasps> oh no. The Elizabeth Line has no service between Addingbury and Whitechapel due to a faulty freight train at Parson House. I'm heading back to the Jubilee Line, which is just dreadful. I've burned at least 10 minutes here, not to mention the time it took getting over to this part of town. Hopefully I can find loads of stuff. Hopefully the others are having a shocker and I'm still in the game, but I can't be doing well on points comparatively at this point. We are now just over halfway through. I'm not even underground. Small poster. I don't think it'll be bigger. Big bro about mountain and that counts as a closed show because it closed last weekend. And big aspects of love poster. Yay. So we're at Common Con, we're at Leicester Square at the minute, which is big theatre land, so hopefully there'll be quite a few here. And then I'm gonna go down to Charing Cross because there should be other big posters there too. Pretty woman. That's also closed. <gasps> Bonus points. Oh, I'm winning this. We did. This is a bigger one. I'm not fully sure. But there we go. Right now, going down to Charing Cross, and then I'm going to get off there, then get back on to go to the mountain. Bigger Frozen, bigger Wizard of Oz, bigger Cabaret. Miss Summer Night's Dream. And Barbie, you're not a musical, but I love you anyway. I've walked down and I found myself on the northern line. Maybe we're bumping to Mickey. Maybe Mickey's long gone. Who's to truly say? I'm in a full sweat, headed back down to the Jubilee Line platform. I don't think there's any posters here. Not for theatre shows anyway. The next tube is in two minutes. So at least I don't have to wait for a really long time, but I'm not feeling great. Who knows, this could be the greatest comeback story you've ever seen. Stay tuned to see if I can bring this back. It's currently 22. I'm not that far, but my pathway back to Tonkford Road isn't the most clear. So if I stick to Northern Line now, get a couple there, that should be strong. And also Robin Hood, that's closed. Bonus points. Comedy of errors. Have you closed? You have closed. Bonus points. Thank you very much. My the clue is technically closed. It is coming back, but it has technically closed. Dear England. Just closed. Which means that's closed. Bonus points. See, having no plan, it works out. <laughs> So there's nothing on these platforms, so we're going to go down to Banner, down to Waterloo, and then we're going to head back up. Um, there was some on the escalator at Holborn that I didn't get, so I might try and get those as well. Um, but yeah, it's gone well. It's gone well. We've got 20 minutes left, so I need to start thinking about how long, how far I want to go before I head back towards Dutton Court Road. Okay, I've jumped off because Wizard of Oz and Rebecca. Okay. I'm not gonna make it back onto the same train, but I will wait for the next one. There's more on the next thing. I've been given a gift here. Frozen, tall, three points. Strange loop, wide, five points. Excellent stuff. I'm gonna keep checking these in case there's anything else to be had here while I wait for my next train. Here's another one over here. Oh, there's two more. This is going well suddenly. So I nearly didn't get off there and back, but strange loop poster. Yay! So a big Mamma Mia one as well, so here we are, two. Um, I was gonna go to Victoria, but I think I'm gonna go to Waterloo and then give up and go backwards because timings, and I'm gonna go by a different, a different train. Tony and Tina's wedding, tall, three points. Uh, they had to get rid of their original underground poster because it had wedding cake on, and uh, the underground can't promote unhealthy eating, something like that. Oh, Moulin Rouge, three points. The Crown Jewels, three points. I'm back in the game, this is fine. 
need to go get my train because um, I'm basically just going literally back on myself, which is not ideal because I'm going to hit a lot of the same places again. And I'd rather go up around different stations. I was hoping to do a loop and go to Angel. At this point, I don't think I'm going to get to Angel because it's 1.46. Um, but if I go back on myself, at least I know like it was half past when I was at the furthest away. So at least I'm going to get back in time and I won't lose any points by being late back to the meeting point. So that's good. So I'm now on the Northern Line. My plan is I'm going to keep going like one stop along uh, towards Top Nickel Road again. I may actually go past Top Nickel Road instead, go to Leicester Square because I know there's going to be loads of show posters there, and get Leicester Square and then go back on myself. I think that's what I'm going to do. Do not want to be late because I'm pretty sure I've probably got the least points. Also, I'm at Southwark, by the way, still on the Jubilee line. I literally didn't know where I was, I just saw posters and jumped off the train. Now I'm getting back on to go to Waterloo. So yeah, my goal at the minute is to just kind of go down to Waterloo, then back up to Tottenham Court Road, then go on this line back up, on the northern line back up to Tottenham Court Road, to try and get that big wall way to Tottenham Court Road, see what they got that I didn't get. So then hopefully, any of the big ones that they got on that route, I will also get. I'm just hoping this way down and go back isn't going to be longer than I hope it'll be. So fingers crossed. Hi, I've got one stop over once again to Goose Street because I've spotted something as I've gone past and there's enough time. My plan is thus. And I'll say once this train is gone, Passing a bunch of film posters. Useless to me. Waste of my time. My plan is thus. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. And finally train Hamilton. Yay! So I'm at Waterloo, so I'm gonna go and explore here and then head on my way back up. My plan is thus. I'm going to come here, Good Street, then I'm gonna go to Tonka Road. I'm gonna get what I couldn't get at the start on Lizzie Line and the northern section. And then I will have slayed and I'll be back in time. The Elizabeth line is partially suspended. Good sir. That would have been great to know earlier. We're back in the tunnel with the really big posters and I'm realising it's not a Hamilton tunnel anymore, but it is a Cameron Mackintosh tunnel. All of these are Cameron Mackintosh shows. We have Phantom, Les Mis, Old Friends and Hamilton. I don't know if these are massive enough to be worth 10 points or just 5, but hopefully they might carry me over through the errors that I made immediately afterwards. A humongous growth element of the National Theatre, that's massive. And also, a big one for Rebecca. You guys aren't gonna believe this. Boo! <laughs> Okay, we're both on the northern line. Hello. Heading northbound. Oh, yeah, we've got nine minutes left, so it's like a rush back. Uh, and we are back, 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 back again. Perfect. Oh, I haven't got this one yet. Moulin Rouge. <laughs> I'm so smart. Police expectations? Is it closed yet? What day is it today? 16. Closed show. Closed show. Jumped off the train to get bleak expectations. Closed show. And then back on the train. <laughs> Aaron is in the next carriage, judging me for my choices. It counts. Grease got it. Doing so well. Okay, what's the time? What's the time? I have five minutes. Five minutes until I have to be back, be up, be done. I've got a lot of show posters that are already closed, which is perfect. Okay, pulling into Tom McCall Road. There are 90 seconds left till the deadline. Are we going to make it to the meeting point? Is Ellie already there? 
what's gonna happen. Are we going left or right? We're going left. Okay. Get ready to power walk, everybody. Do I open it? Go, 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 go. And I exit via the central line to see if I can get any of those posters. Not even looking behind me for Aaron. Big crazy for you. <gasps> Big my neighbor Totoro. I'm doing so well. So Nikki found me, which was annoying. But we have two minutes to get out. And I also have not done this stretch, so I don't know what shoes are here. Sounds not easy. I'm heading up towards the way out. I have tried my best and I'm going to treat myself to lunch after this. I am likely the first one here so I will be tracking if everyone's on time. 45 seconds on the clock uh, but I've got Mamma Mia, I've got uh, Witness for the Prosecution, Tina on the other side. Ha ha ha. Spitting image. I think that's it. And Witness for the Prosecution but I think I've already got it. I jump between like five different lines. I've probably got the weakest score, but do you know what? I slayed. Way out this way. Oh no, it screams. What a betrayal. What a last minute betrayal. And we made it. Did we make it? Yes. We, we made, made it. it. We all made it. Yay. We made it. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Nightmares have been had. Oh. I think this whole challenge being like everyone else has probably done like 10 times better than me but I'm kind of confident. <laughs> I don't know, I am not. Nothing, nothing went badly for me. I, I got quite a few closed shows. We, I found him. Oh! At Waterloo. Oh! I stuck really close. I... I think the furthest I went was Farringdon but that was only because I was on Lizzie line. That's further than me. Yeah. I went up to Holborn and down to Waterloo. Yeah, I thought about going to Holborn, but I didn't, I didn't end up going. That was a lot. <laughs> it's the last, like, five minutes when you suddenly go, I need to get back. Oh, no, no, no. I got, like, half an hour in and realised I haven't done anything because I spent, like, the first, the first ten minutes being really confident about Lizzie line. And then realising there's, like, three, far. there's, like, three show posters. And it also takes you really far away, so you've got to work yeah. your way back. And it's partially closed. It, it was, but I went Farringdon, which wasn't partially closed. <laughs> okay, we are back where we started. Um, yeah, who's feeling confident? You're feeling confident? I, okay, when I was walking around, I wasn't feeling confident, but your lack of confidence has made me feel confident. I've had an abysmal time. <laughs> um, I got some really big ones. Um, I didn't get many closed shows, and you both said you did. I got quite a few closed, yeah. I got closed shows, I don't know. There's some where I'm like, I don't know if it's closed or not, because it was like a Globe one, and I was like, I don't yeah, know. If it's I, yeah, I was kind of looking at dates quite quickly, but I got Globe, I got 42nd Street, which was at Southern as well. Nice. I got Bonnie and Clyde. I, wow! Yeah. Damn, I got Bleak Expectations, which is yeah. just closed. Yeah, yeah I got Bleak Also a couple of national ones, like Motive and Clue, Q. Yes, yeah, got that. Oh, and, nice. Uh, bleak no, I've said Bleak Expectations. Uh, I got Broke Bad Mountain, which was funny, it was a big one. Oh. Oh, nice. Anyone get any banned posters? No, Bad, no, no, I haven't seen any. No. TFL doing their job, they're yeah. taking them yeah. down. No Operation Mince Meat. <laughs> so we're going to go and review the footage and we're going to find out who got the most points. Yeah. Stay yeah. tuned. It won't be me. Okay, so we have recovered. We went to the theatre cafe, reviewed <laughs> all of the footage, uh, made some like judgment calls about what counted, what didn't count, how big certain posters were, and that's yep. how all of the points were allocated. We all agreed, uh, and we added up all of our points, and with pretty significant margins. Now, should we yes. do it? Should we do it going up? In third place was me. I lost you guys. Oh. I made, I made, I had some high scoring uh, big posters. It was mm. worth going to Waterloo, but almost every decision I made immediately afterwards <laughs> ruined my entire challenge. I did not go, I didn't bring it back nearly enough. About 50 points ahead of me was mm. Aaron James. Yeah. How would you reflect on your performance in this challenge? It was kind of, I felt like I could have gone down more corridors, but there was those extra shows. I saw a couple that had closed early and I, because they were smaller posters, forgot that they'd still count for 10. 
So I think it was those kind of ones that I missed out on. But otherwise, I was quite happy with all my fives. Yeah, Richmond in first place with almost double the amount of points that I got, with just over 200 points, Ellie Talks Theatre. Congratulations, she's a winner, baby. You're a winner, baby. Now, look. Congratulations. <laughs> you know, that's copyright. We're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. Look, you don't need a plan for these challenges. You can just wing it and slay. Wing and it. That's what I do with my eyeliner every day. I was going to say, wing it like <laughs> eyeliner. I'm I made to. that joke during the filming as well. Excellent. And so for <laughs> Ellie's prize for winning, I in last place bought her an ice cream as first place from Coldstone <laughs> Creamery. Yay! Yay! Yay. Yay. Thank you for uh, joining us for this challenge video. Let us know in the comments what you want us to do next. <laughs> and we will see you next time. Bye! For ten more seconds I'm Mickey Joe Theatre Oh my god, hey Thanks for watching, have a stagey day Subscribe!